Here is the news. What have you been doing all afternoon? Have you been sleeping? No, I haven't. I've been updating my address book. I haven't had time to listen to the news yet. Turn on the radio. Here is the latest news from the BBC. Our top story is that the Prime Minister has just resigned. We know she has been ill for some time. Neither her deputy nor the opposition leader was available for comment. But one of her closest colleagues, the Home Secretary, has just said, The PM has been suffering from health problems lately, so the government has been expecting this announcement since January. Even so, it's a very sad moment. Now for some other news. A person who bought a lottery ticket last week has won a million pounds, but the winner has not got in touch with the organisers yet. A lottery spokesperson said he or she still hasn't contacted us. The stock market has been going down since the beginning of the month. The economy has been slowing for the last two quarters, but house prices have not been falling. And now, cricket. England are playing Australia at Lords. The Australians have already won three matches and they are still in the lead. So if you have been hoping for a miracle, you'll be disappointed. Those are the headlines. Here's Joe Amos with the weather. It's been raining for the past four days and things seem to be getting worse. The wind has been rising for the past few hours and rough sea is expected tonight in the English Channel. Let's turn off and go to bed. The economy has been slowing for two quarters. How long has it been raining? Three days. Neither the PM nor the Home Secretary was available for comment last night. Has it been snowing recently? Yes, for three days. She's busy at the moment, but you can get in touch with her after the programme. Turn on the radio, turn up the volume, listen to the news, then turn off and come to bed.